and Dolly Parton Islands in the Stream. Good morning, welcome along. We are live here in the Robert Gillow pub, which is in Lancaster. It's beginning to fill up with people now. But I've got a young artist now I want you to meet. Her name is Sandy Gardner, and she's been showing me some of her work, and it is just stunning. And you look beautiful, Thank if you don't you. mind me saying so. You look like, a, like some kind of, um, I don't know, I want to say a Spanish lady with your beautiful skirt on. Tell me a bit about you. Where, where did you grow up? Um, Initially, I'm from Scotland. I was born in Scotland, but I moved down to Grange Over Sands, which is not far from Lancaster, obviously, when I was six. So that's why, hence, the Scottish accent is gone. Um, and then it's only maybe in the last five, six years I've moved to Lancaster and I've lived here. So, and Lancaster for me is a great place to live. It's full of creative people and creative atmosphere. So, and particularly the music scene and the art scene, it's just very, very vibrant in that way. And you've got a wonderful view, haven't you, from where you live? Oh, I do. The flat that I live in is part of a very old house, and it's up by Ashton Memorial, up by the park up there. And um, my bay window is massive because the ceilings are about three metres high. And my bay window looks all out across Lancaster. It's very high up the hill. You can see the castle, you can see the sea, you can see Morecambe, you can see the canals. It's very, very inspiring for me. So I was going to say, is that part of where your artistry comes from? Well, yeah, because out there you can see all, all of those things inspire me. I'm very inspired by nature. There's a lot of wildlife in my artwork. And those are the things I can see from my window. OK. Now then, to make a living as somebody in the arts world is not easy, is it? You know, you have to work very hard. Um, you work day and night on, on these things. Well, for me, more, more at night time, very much a night owl. I work very late into, into the night and get up a bit later in the morning, usually. So this is a bit of a shocker for you then this morning? Um, yeah, I was prepared, though. I tried okay. to go to bed a little bit early. went to bed about two. So. Oh, God. <laughs> what did I say? Now, you've been showing me your work here. Let's talk about this, because this is a, a wonderful print that you've shown me here. Explain to me what it is. OK, this... this particular work I mean the inspiration for this started back in December as we all know the beginning of December storm Desmond hit we saw local businesses devastated individuals devastated and that had a knock-on effect to other people's businesses and to individuals in the community but what really shone through for me is the amazing strength the community showed that they worked together the you know community spirit so two things came to mind from that really that one I wanted my work to reflect that community strength and the people's ability to rise up above what had happened to them. And two, that I wanted, at least in a small way, for my business to support local businesses. So hence came about the work that you see in front of you, which is a big expanse of birds' wings. There's a series of these. And this came about because springtime, you know, the, the months, couple of months after the flood, um, what was it? It was feeling a bit... Well, 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 no, because you could, it was positive. Cause oh, right, were I was going to say, I thought you were feeling a bit dark. No, no, no. more that, people, the, more that again, that I saw this positivity in people helping each other. They were building up their businesses again. And as I looked out the window, it was springtime, and the birds were rebuilding their nests, they were flocking together, and um, they were very active. And that was reminiscent to me of the people. They were rebuilding their businesses, they were, you know, flocking together. And that made me think, right, well, I want to, you know, connect people with with birds really in a way I can so, see this is a gorgeous bird this is about sort of four foot by seven foot I suppose a very long landscape style and it's a bird from wingspan wide open wonderful colors and it, is it a pheasant this is a pheasant this one in particular is a pheasant phoenix but what these are is my solution came to connect people with their with, with the birds and with that positive energy, I decided to create um, wearable art. So these are big wing expanses that you can actually wear. Okay, so this is the print which we're looking at at the moment. But so they are vivid, being, isn't it? So and they're gorgeous, yeah. Brett. But they're going to be put onto like these, these wraps. For this one, particularly this design, was inspired by the story of the phoenix. Now, the phoenix is a myth, and one story goes that... Um, the phoenix lives for 100 years. After 100 years, it settles into its nest um, and then it bursts into flames and the nest and itself turn into ashes. But from those ashes is reborn a new fledgling phoenix and it is reborn. So it symbolises, you know, people overcoming challenges and rising up again. The, the rejuvenation, the renaissance of the, of the spirit that is always, which, always that there. Which um, covered the first thing I wanted to cover, which was linking people, you know, my artwork linking to that pe people rising up. 
Well, I think what we're going to do, we'll talk to you a little bit more after the news. I especially want to hear about music. where you work because the, the, the centre location and geography is so important it, it is. in North Lancashire uh, for you. Sandy Gardner is with us, a visual artist and jeweller, and she brought in some of her work to show us, which is a, her more recent stuff. And I've been absolutely fascinated by it, but not just the, the look of the work, which is very vivid in colour here, as we can see in front of us. And it's a very large print that you've shown me here of a pheasant in a kind of phoenix attitude, as it were, rising and you've spoken about the symbolic reasoning behind that of course because of the floods that happened in December here uh, the whole area I mean a big chunk of the area was devastated I know and you spoke about the Phoenix rising and the story that's come from that and so now that you've you've decided on a, a beautiful series of prints that, that are birds and they're very large and you're printing them now onto they're being printed onto material to make a wrap but you're keeping the local businesses uh, very much in your sights because there are people that will have struggled over that period of time and what you wanted to do was help them wasn't it yeah well that's what i said the second thing that i wanted to achieve in my work is that i wanted some at least in a small way for my business to support local businesses so just as I was looking for a fabric printer, it just, it happened, just by chance, I happened to see that Stanfast and Barracks, which is a printing, fabric printing company on Caton Road, they were getting delivery of their brand new digital fabric printer. Now, they were heavily hit by the storm, Desmond, because they were right on Caton Road, right where the, the main flooding was, where the power station was, um, and they were just getting back in their feet. So as spring had sprung, as the birds were building their nests, everyone's getting back in their feet, so were they. And it, and it seemed like fate almost, because they were there saying they're getting back on their feet, they're a local business, and they do exactly what I wanted. So I approached them, and they, and they you know, were very into what, I, what, what was behind, you know, my motives, motives for what I wanted to do and why I wanted to work with local businesses. And they said they're very keen to support local artists and designers in their work and, and, and they took me on board and we've worked together and now they're color, currently printing my scarf designs, my wrap designs. Well, I've, ha I've had a look uh, at some of them, you've got three that you've shown us. Uh, the one I absolutely love is the one in the vivid colours of the pheasant, which are very much the kind of orangey, bluey, greeny colours that you get of a pheasant. But that wide wingspan then provides that wrap and it's almost symbolic in that it's wrapping round you, isn't yeah, it's, it? it's safety as well so yeah. the wings can wrap around you it's like the safety of the flock of people the community coming together and also then also the empowerment of being able to fly above you know life challenges mm. um, they are absolutely beautiful and not just this one as well there was i love the one of the owl have we shown this to the ladies just hold that wrap up for me let's show these ladies this what do you think of this hey would you like one of those? Yes, 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 I would. Yes, yes. And tell us about the thinking behind this one, then, Sandy. Well, it's barn art again with the with the you know keeping it with the local people, local community. These are all based on local um, animals from birds from the local habitat. So again, with the wing expanse rising above, you know, giving you the opportunity to connect with birds and their positive mm. energy. So this is all new, isn't it? Brand new. They're currently being printed with Stanfast and Barracks, as I said. They're being finished by local dressmakers in town and then they will be released um, at the Southport Flower Show. Now, I'm very privileged to have been invited to go to the Flower Show with Meet the Makers who are a local arts group and they're very strong in their belief that they want you to hand make and design your own products. Um, so that again goes in, with, you know, fits with, with my ethos and what I wanted to do. So that if people can't make it to Southport? If you can't make it to Southport, you can, you can um, these designs, this um, fragments of these designs that you can look at on Facebook. So Sandy Gardner Artist on Facebook. Um, I've got an online shop where we can pre-order shortly. So that's Etsy, Sandy Gardner Artist. You can follow me on Instagram, Sandy Gardner Artist. And also I've got my own website where you can look there. Okay. Well, we, we love this. It's getting a big thumbs up from the ladies here, isn't it? They're absolutely stunning. They will leave your card, they oh, thank say. Thank you. Thank you. So well, this is the first time anyone's seen them because they're brand new and these are just my samples. So it's really good to get a positive feedback from a group of ladies and some gentlemen as well. <laughs> and the idea is, of course, this has is, this is come out of your local community here and being made here and designed here and inspired here in Lancaster. Sandy, thank you so much for coming thank along. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm the best of luck with your wonderful scarves. These are, they're like large scarves, so they're like a wrap, really, that you would wear on a yeah, maybe shawl as yeah, well you know really good for you know keeping your shoulders warm 
for wrapping around, adding a bit of colour. And they come in a very re a range of different colours, so go with lots of different Lots colors. of things. All right, then, thank you so much for that. Very shortly, we're going to be finding out about another kind of design that goes on in comic books, because John is with Brett at the moment. Live music still to come from our lovely ukulele group, but the time now is just going to quarter past ten.